Welcome to Vitality VIPs. Wellness Elite Channel. Let's start. Hi, I'm Dr. Mary. Today you will learn how by exercising a small muscle in our leg, we can slow down diabetes and other metabolic diseases, including obesity, atherosclerosis, and hypertension. This simple exercise, which I will tell you about in a moment, can reduce postprandial blood glucose levels by more than 52%. It may sound too good to be true, but this simple and effective method, without drugs, needles, or injections, really works, as proven by scientists just over half a year ago. If this topic interests you, I recommend listening to the entire video. So, what is this method, and how do we know about it? Recently, on August 5, 2022, a group of scientists led by Dr. Marek Hamilton demonstrated that by exercising a small muscle in our leg, namely the soleus muscle, we can dramatically lower postprandial blood glucose levels. For those who do not know, the soleus muscle is located in the back of the lower leg, next to the gastrocnemius muscle, and moves the ankle joint. Our muscles store glucose in the form of glycogen, and that is why exercising the soleus muscle can significantly lower blood glucose levels. Let me remind you that glycogen is made up of many molecules of glucose and serves as a storage for it, releasing it as needed. And why do muscles store glycogen? Because it is a source of energy, and when the body uses muscles, it immediately burns glucose released from the muscle's glycogen stores. Therefore, glycogen, consisting of many glucose molecules, is nothing but a quick and easily accessible energy source. And here we come to the heart of the matter. As it turns out, the soleus muscle has no ability to store glucose as glycogen. So the only way to obtain energy from glucose is to take it from our bloodstream. This is the secret behind the magical effect of this muscle on our blood glucose levels. So it is obvious that if we start moving this muscle, and it has no reserves of its own energy in the form of glycogen, it will start drawing glucose from our bloodstream, and thus the level of glucose in our blood will drop. The more it works, the more glucose it will take from the blood. And before I show you how to exercise this muscle, let me first show you the scientific evidence, and then say a few more words about what has been discovered in the study. Let's check the scientific evidence. In the August 2022 study, entitled Strong and Physiological Method of Increasing and Maintaining Soleus Muscle Metabolism Improves Glucose and Lipid Regulation, we read, Isolated contractions significantly improved systemic homeostasis of triglycerides and glucose, for example 52% fewer postprandial glucose fluctuations with 60% less hyperinsulinemia. Now that we know where the serratus anterior muscle is located in our body and why it lowers glucose levels in our blood, let's quickly show how to exercise it. Exercising this muscle is very simple and can be done sitting or standing. If standing, simply lift the whole body on tiptoes and then lower it. If done on any incline, such as a step, the exercise will be more intense as a greater range of motion is achieved. If done while sitting, it is worth doing it with a weight around the knee area. One thing I would like to point out is that activating this muscle also occurs during regular physical activity, such as walking or moderate intensity running. Therefore, it seems that evolution has built this type of blood glucose control into our body in the form of a muscle that perfectly balances glucose levels, which is the main fuel for our body and neutralizes any excess. As we can see, Movement is integrated into our metabolism, and unfortunately, today society sits on a chair for most of the day, so glucose from the food we eat accumulates in the blood, not being expended for energy, and hence, insulin resistance and diabetes are just a short path away. I want to add that excess postprandial glucose in the blood is not a problem solely for people with diabetes but is also a problem for metabolically unhealthy individuals, including obese people, those with high blood pressure or atherosclerosis. Therefore, by doing this simple exercise or physical activity, even by walking for 20 to 30 minutes a day, we can slow down these conditions, including obesity. Evidence for the truth of these words is not hard to find because even walks significantly contribute to fat loss. 
still from today, we know that one of the mechanisms that allow us to lose weight is the reduction of postprandial glucose due to a hidden secret muscle in our leg. Scientific studies confirm this, and I want to quote one of them from 2014. The effect of walking exercises on abdominal fat, insulin resistance, and serum cytokines in obese women. The results state that, in conclusion, current findings suggest that walking may provide a safe and effective lifestyle strategy against abdominal obesity and serum insulin resistance markers in obese women. So remember, besides expending energy, which is essential in the weight loss process, walking and running, unlike other exercises, immediately lower blood glucose levels, which is the great secret of physical activity that involves our legs. This method of fighting diabetes and many others, which I discuss on my channel, can change the lives of many suffering people. Well, all good things must come to an end. That's all from me for today. Thanks for watching and see you in next video. Don't forget to subscribe for more.